I can't tell. Your skincare product is not more working, right? And your skin concern is still there looking at you, you are looking at it. You don't even know what to do. What are you going to do? How can you identify the mistakes you are making? Sis, it's because you're still making some of this common skincare mistake and you are not even aware of it. So that brings us into today's video. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you guys most common skincare mistake that, that some of us do and we don't we are not even aware of it that is a skincare mistake that cause your skincare products not to work anymore and your skin constant is still there looking at you. If this sounds like something you are interested in and you really want to learn those common skincare mistakes and how to avoid it, grab a popcorn and watch this video to the end. In today's video, sis, I'm going to be sharing with you guys just six skincare mistakes that you have been making and you don't know is a skincare mistake. With that being said, let's dive into the video. The first one on my list is using too many skincare products at the same time. Like I've saw a video on the internet when somebody is applying up to 10 different products on her face At the same time at the same time You can see the way I'm repeating this for you to know Why will you be jump packing a lot of skincare products on your face without even allowing your skin to breathe properly the way it should Applying so many skincare products on your face is going to cause breakout Overloading skincare products on your face is going to allow your skin to be overwhelmed causing it to break out and what skin irritation since you need to make your skincare product very very forward when i mean forward very very simple and direct apply product that is going to work for your skin and avoid using or overloading skincare products on your skin if you're doing this all in the name of what you're seeing on social media you end up damaging your skin says that is the real truth and that is the reality make use of something that we accept your skin that your skin is going to accept and avoid using overload skincare products on your skin so the next one on my list is ignoring the neck and your chest when applying your skincare product most especially when you're applying your facial skincare products your face skincare routine you are you avoiding your what your neck and your what's your chest i decided to wear a dress like this so that i can properly show you guys my neck and my chest you can see the way my neck and my chest is rhyming the color is rhyming together with my face for you to know that when you apply your skincare routine or when you are doing your face skincare routine you need to make sure that those products you are applying on your face bring it down to your neck and even sometimes down to your chest so for you to properly have an even skin tone for you not so that you won't have a cocoa cola skin if you know you want to have an even skin tone make sure that you always take note of your what of your neck don't forget your neck whenever you are doing your skincare routine and also your chest so that your chest will not be dark if you're having it at the back of your mind that this area is something you can cover with your dress and all that it's still not going to be hydrated those area is going to be what dehydrated and at the same time you'll be having some premature aging on those area and for you to avoid that make sure that your skincare products are reaching those area which is your what your neck and your what and your chest i just feel Next one on my list is picking blemishes. Picking and squeezing pimples is going to make it more worse. I can tell you that I've done this before and it was not funny at all. Like if you are pitching or squeezing your pimples, it's going to even cause more acne, more dark spots and more irritation on your face and your face is going to look more rough. So always have it at the back of your mind and be conscious of how to control your hand from going to your face. If you can control your hands from going to your face, it's, you'll be able to avoid squeezing or picking your what? Your pimples. Because when you are pinching or squeezing your pimples, it's going to spread the bacteria even more and you're going to see more of those pimples and it's going to lead to acne dark spot so please avoid picking your what blemishes the next one on my list not moisturizing properly you skipping your moisturizer thinking is not important it is very very important if your skin is lacking hydration if your skin is lacking moisture your skin is going to be dehydrated and at the same time you're going to be experiencing wrinkle fine lines and aging or premature aging for you to avoid that please properly moisturize your skin get a product that will highly moisturize your skin and hydrate your skin at the same time 
our week lessons are you finding this video so useful so far if you do give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't turned on the notification bell to always be the first person to be notified whenever i drop interesting and lovely and educating videos like this let's continue guys next one on my list is ignoring your skin type like learning and know your skin type is very very important sis you don't need anybody to tell you this because if you don't properly know your skin type how do you want to pick your skincare products it's just as simple as that you don't know your skin type how do you want to pick your skincare products so it is very very important for you to first of all know your skin type before falling or before diving into skincare journey and if you know you want to learn how to know, know your skin type you can check this video up here i details on how to know your skin type and how to properly know the kind of skin you are having at the comfort of your own if you don't get a proper skincare product that is meant for your skin you might end up worsening your dryness and your oily Ness. the last skincare mistake i'm going to be talking about in today's video is keeping sunscreen like says sunscreen is one of the things you need to take very very important when it comes to your skincare routine sunscreen is very very important you need to take care of your skin by also protecting your skin during the day using a good amount of sunscreen and reapply your sunscreen every two, two hours during the day to protect your skin from the uv ray sunscreen prevent the skin from skin cancer and also from premature aging so if you don't want to experience something like that you need to start applying sunscreen and reapplying it every two two hours during the day when you're under the sun so if you really really find this video useful let me know that in the comment section if you have any video you want me to film let me know that in the comment section share your thoughts share your experience and share your ideas with us and if you enjoy watching this video once again give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell to always be notified whenever i drop videos like this and i'm still remain your favorite guest of here and i will see you guys at the next very one stay blessed and peace bye